What is this, bud? I saw the wood trailer. Yeah, explain it to us. So we got our frame here, and then we have our. This is an old uh, sand thing. Sand slinger, salt slinger. Yeah. yeah. For the town so what we did is, highway department. Yeah. So what we did is we cut off the back end of it. We threw that away, and then my dad took off a frame. A uh, set of wheels, and we took off the front two, and we took the frames back two and put them on, cut a nice little uh, square cut thing, and then what we did <coughs> is we uh, ma made uh, some frames right up here to support our gooseneck here. Now we put a nice little frame back in here. Now it, it takes enough pressure right here. And then today, for our finishing touch, we put our jack support, and we put our jack holder, and then we put our jack on the day. And that was our finishing touch, and then... Well, yeah. what did we do? We had to do something with the box, the gator, right? Yeah, so what we did is we had to take off the gator, the gator, uh... The original gator dump box? Yeah. And then we made a knob, which is right in there. And, and we, we put weld, a, ball, a ball on. Yeah, weld yeah. that right on there. And then my dad made a nice little steel, steel frame box. Oh, the remainder of the salt slinger. That's why it's a little ketty warmed and bent here and there. Yeah. But we use what we had. Yep. And then we put the plastic down. It's that. called a, it's called a bed liner out of an old truck that we had. Be what was that? Down bed here? liner. Yeah, the old one that was down here. Yep. Yeah, the old bed liner that my dad used to have. We use that, and then. So how many? How much wood do we have in the trailer now? We have maybe a gator, a gator load or two gator loads? Probably like a gator load and a half. That's, I'd say that you're about right. There's probably a gator and a half. Yeah, probably a lot. Oh, it's a gator and a half. So if we had a full gator load, the tires would be squished, squished, down. squished pretty good. Like it would be, the hitch that hitch right there would be like down more, a lot right? more. Right, because it's independent suspension on these gators. So yep. that tongue right there, the hitch would almost be on the ground because it's so soft. Yep. Suspension. But we got a long ways to go and we got a gator and a half on. A little fabrication with a gooseneck. We used the running gear parts. It yeah, came this, off the axle, right? Yep. And this was starting to unthread a little bit, so my dad put a lot more on. And then I put that like for a little bit of support. Nope. On there. Well we ended up the only thing we had to buy was that thing there. It was a it's a uh, gooseneck gooseneck coupler hitch. You weld on a three inch, four inch, or five inch pipe. Or, uh, yeah. So, you know, we, had, we used three inch, that's what we had. This is this whole A frame section here that came off the running gear as well that we used. Some miscellaneous steel pieces here and there. But other than that, it doesn't dump though. That's one downside of it, but the way I use it in the woodshed, uh, I back up into the woodshed where I want it and actually I'll feed it right off of the trailer into the onto the stack pile. If I dump it out then I gotta pick it up again and then stack it. So I'll actually back this right into the woodshed right up to the pile and not have to bend over at all. Just slide them off, slide them on. So what do you think? Yeah, it's a pretty awesome trailer. Pretty excited to see how it works. This is our first load. We could go a little heavier, but for trial purposes, we're gonna try this. Yep. We got lots of wood to go, yep. and more wood to go. Yep. So. There's next year's wood over there. Yep. Most, most of this is gonna be next year's wood too. Yeah. Okay. Carry on.